fight everyone's been waiting for. Thank God they finally got it done. Credit to Eddie Hearn and Matchroom. AJ, Anthony Joshua, he's getting the fight everyone's been waiting for. Jermaine Franklin. Jermaine Franklin, who lost to uh, Dillian White, who's been knocked out by um, Anthony Joshua, uh, Alex Pavetkin, Tyson Fury. Uh, <laughs> I just don't I just don't know where they're going with this one. Anthony who, Joshua who, who, and Mark. <laughs> well, Joshua's been knocked out, you said, by those guys. No, uh, no, no uh, 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 Dill no, Dillian White's been knocked out by all those guys, and, and, he beat, and he beat Jermaine Franklin last time out. I thought you said Franklin, so you threw me off. All right. No, sorry. Yeah, Franklin, who's who lost to Dillian White. Dillian White, who's been already knocked out by Joshua and uh, and Pavetkin and Fury. He beat Jermaine Taylor, majority decision. Uh, relatively close fight, but uh, a fight that absolutely no one was looking for. Anthony Joshua against Jermaine Taylor. I mean, come on. What happened to Joe Joyce? What about Tyson Fury? What about Deontay Wilder? Uh, what about Andy Ruiz? What about anyone? No, when this you story. started, you threw me off. I thought you were talking yeah. about Frank. Yeah, no, we knew this was coming. Day and White and um, Day and White is fighting the rematch, as you said. But Teddy, no, no, J Fra Jermaine Franklin, Teddy, he's getting AJ. Have you even heard? I like, I vaguely. Oh no, even wait, wait, you threw me off, Ken, 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 yeah. Ken, Ken. You're you're mixing the crap out of me. Oh, oh <laughs> is Day and is Day and White Jermaine fighting? Jermaine Taylor and Anthony Joshua are fighting. I was just saying that Jermaine wait, Taylor. Jermaine wait, wait. Franklin lost right. to Dillian White. Now you said Jermaine Taylor. You got me really screwed up over here. <laughs> Jermaine right, so, Franklin. So it's a rematch of that fight. It's Jermaine Franklin. No, getting his first shot against Anthony Joshua. All right, so Franklin, Franklin. Franklin lost, and he's getting a tie. So when you lose, you get a fight. All right, listen. <laughs> I I got it. You you confused me with the names. Sorry here. about All that. Right. No no no. I it's I gotta listen better. But listen. Th originally they were talking about. Originally they were talking about Joshua fighting a rematch with White. Of course he had knocked out White some years ago, and White was only one fight removed from being knocked out by Fury in a abysmal abysmal display i mean he wasn't prepared he wasn't prepared to fight the right fight at all and he got destroyed by fury got finished with the uppercut uh and then day and white comes back gets on the winning track fights franklin from the united states franklin was undefeated franklin beats uh franklin loses to day and white in a competitive fight uh, he was hurt badly at the end of the fight, very badly, but he also hurt Dan White a couple times in that fight pretty badly, too. It was a very competitive fight. Um, Franklin hadn't really been in with anybody, and then he stepped up with, you know, with, with White, uh, and, and he, you know, he made a hell of a, he, he, he made a hell of a showing of himself, but here's the crazy thing about across the pond and about boxing in general. You usually you don't get rewarded for losing. You know what I mean? You usually don't get rewarded, but you do if you're fighting the machine. Now listen to me. This is it. If you're fighting the power's fighter, the power. You know, Eddie Hearn's the power over there. You know, Warren's the power over there. PBC with Heyman is the power over here. Bob Arum with ESPN and Top Rank, they're the power over here. Whole, um, uh, what's his name? Is hanging on by his string is still the power over De here. De La Hoya. Uh, De La Hoya. You know, that he, as long as he keeps Ryan Garcia and a couple guys, right? His, 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 they're the power. Now, that's boxing. That's why we need a national commission. Because one of the reasons, one of the many, because as long as you're with the power, you're going to get taken care of. So Joshua, he's the darling over there. Even though, you know, even though he's lost two fights in a row to, to a smaller man, Usyk, a great man, a great man. As small as far as size, but not smaller in any other area. Not any other area. I mean, Usyk was maybe the, one of the greatest cruiserweight champs of all time, solidified all his titles like Holyfield did. Um, he's the only guy I can think of other than Holyfield as being that kind of cruiserweight champion, the greatest of all time, him and Holyfield. And then he's an Olympic gold medalist. Um, he's undefeated. He's a great man. He, he's got a terrible situation going on in his home country in the Ukraine. He's over there supporting his country, and, and he's got... He's got one of the belts. Uh, and like, he beat Joshua twice, back to back, in London, in Joshua's, you know, home. So, Joshua lost to a good man, but he did lose 
twice in a row to the smaller man. He did get knocked out by Ruiz, who really hasn't been tearing it up since. You know what He's I mean? He's lost three he, of his last five, Joshua. Uh, there it is. Uh, uh, no, I'm talking about right now Ruiz. He, then he yeah. goes, he gets knocked out by Ruiz. Ruiz hasn't been tearing it up. Uh, by he, he immediately lost the title back to Joshua. And I give Joshua credit for doing that. Here's the bottom line. Joshua is one of the darlings over across the pond, just like you have some anywhere. Of course, he's a darling. He's with the power. He's with Eddie Hearn. And you know what? They're going to give him what he wants because he's going to fill a stadium and they're going to do it with as little risk as possible. They're going to do it with someone they can sell it. Franklin made a good performance across the pond uh, against White. So people know him now. They know he's a game kid. They know that, that he hurt White. You know, they know he survived the last round. He showed heart. You know, he'll make a... He'll make a showing of himself. He'll make a showing of And you know what? Who knows against Joshua? Joshua doesn't exactly have a granite chin. You know what I mean? Uh, and Or granite confidence right now after losing the last two to, to music. So you never know. You never know. And, and you got to figure that Franklin's confidence is only going to grow off his last outing when he stepped up and he found out, hey, I could step up. I could step up to the you know, the higher altitudes here in boxing, and I could be okay. And that's important for a fighter to find out. So, so I have that going for him. Listen, is it a fight that I would mark off on my calendar? No. <laughs> Even if I lived across the pond, I wouldn't mark it off. <laughs> I wouldn't because I'm not interested in backing a guy who's lost his last two, who's lost how many out of his last? What did you just say? What's Joshua Josh? lost three of his last fights. He beat Ruiz in the rematch. No, no, and he not, beat not his last fights. His last how many fights? His last in the five la fights? In his last five fights, he's okay, lost last, three of them. He's lost three of his last fights. All right. Look. I'm, I know that he's an amiable guy. I know that he was a gold medalist from the Olympics. I caught his fight in London against the Italian. He lost. He lost. But there was no way he wasn't going to get the gold medal with the Olympics being in London. He lost. But he got it. Okay. Listen, people are going to say, oh, Teddy, you're knocking Joshua. You're knocking. No, I'm pointing things out. I I'll, I'll give him all the credit. He, 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 he's in a difficult sport. He became world champion. He's made millions and millions and millions of dollars. But I'll be damned if I'm not going to point out that he's also taken care of. Better than 90% of the fighters will ever be taken care of. That, that he, he's also, you know, protected. That he's, he's also favored, you know, uh, in, in a way where a lot of fighters would not be given this fight against this guy on this platform to make another $20 million or whatever the hell he's going to bring. It's probably somewhere in that neighborhood. They're going to fill out any stadium that they put in because that's what the English do. They come out. They come out and they support them and God bless them. God bless them. If I come back in another lifetime, I, I want to come back as a heavyweight from London. <laughs> that's 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 what I want to come back. I better change my name though, because uh, the English fans will remember this, and they they say, "Oh no, you are a nice to our you to our bloke. You are a nice to our bloke, uh, Mr. Joshua. You are a nice <laughs> to Joshua." Uh, hey, yes, I am. I just told you. I respect him. I respect that he gets in that chamber of truth. Uh, one of the most difficult things to do in the world that he gets in there. And that he that he does he faces another man, uh, which is very difficult to do, uh, in in a in a squared circle. That he faces his fears, his inhibitions, all of those things, the dangers that are inherent in this sport. Yeah, I respect all of that, but I also I'm honest. I point out, I point out that he again is treated much better than most fighters, and and given privileges that most fighters would never be given if he wasn't in a position he's in over there and le he makes money so of course they're gonna do it and he hurts smart he does a hell of a job over there and, and he's gonna make more money with him of course and they should because they they built this thing up they believed in it they worked at it they nurtured it and now they're getting the dividends of it good but 
Am I, I'll be damned if I'm going to be sitting around saying I can't wait to see a Joshua uh, uh, against Franklin. <laughs> Uh, even with some very uh, good crumpets to have and enjoy with a spot of tea uh, before, mate. <laughs>